Hey YouTube, this is Cliff. Today I'm taking apart my Harbor Freight 1x30. Uh, I've got some new accessories coming, so I wanted to give this thing a full tune-up. And I like to just give it an inspection. It's one of the things I like to do is tinker with stuff. Um, they're not too complicated. you got the swing arm for the idler. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean and polish this. I think I'm going to repaint this thing to give it a new paint job. The idler tire wheel... Um, I'm going to check the bearings on it. This is the, this one here is the main one that co that's up here. And um, I just watched some YouTube videos on uh, seal bearings and uh, a lot of controversy and stuff about them. You shouldn't take them apart, you shouldn't lube them, you should just replace them, buy new ones. Uh, parts are hard to get out here. So what I did was I carefully pried this, the seal off. It is a metal it does have a metal band, so you got to be careful about bending or flexing it when you pry it out. I just used a small, you see i got some different screwdrivers down here. I just used a small pick tool and was able to remove the seals on both sides. I then flushed it out with some high-powered brake cleaner. It wasn't spinning freely. Uh, it still had a little bit of axle grease in there, but uh, the race itself was um, the inner one was spinning but the uh, bearings were not spinning freely in the thing uh, between the inner and outer races the bearing set um, so I've got some medium grade axle grease I'm going to apply some to these and then seal them back up now that they're thoroughly cleaned out and all the contaminants are removed that was the basic reason why I wanted to start filming I guess I could show I mean there's when there's a Allen set screw and I'll try and get uh, when I, I'm going to do a full reassemble here in the next couple hours and I'll, I'll try and document the sizes for these parts this is the Allen set screw that holds the drive wheel on you pull that out you take out three screws that go here the motor comes out uh, this one came right off with an Allen screw right up on top I'm going to clean the uh, shaft too so it'll slide back in and out easily, um, you know, without getting stuck. Well, the first time I tried to take this apart, it was uh, pretty jammed up. It's, you know, factory press fit together everything. But uh, by uh, polishing and buffing this a little bit, I should be able to have it so it's replaceable and serviceable on a regular basis. What else? The, I'm going to sand and smooth this area here. And I'm going to try and make some improvements. This seems to be the area that, that I think a lot of the noise and chatter with this machine come from is in this area. So I'm going to try and uh, clean and polish and tighten this area up and check how the spring tension is on it. Um, right now I'm going to lube the, this and put it back together. And then I'm going to sand this down and paint it. And when I get back I should have a new shiny... Uh, shiny frame to remount the accessories to. Okay, it's been a little bit. I got this um, sanded and prepped for paint. I am going with smoking hot red here. And I think it's as easy as BAM! <laughs> that was the easiest paint job I've ever done. Alright, quit goofing around. I um, always wanted to do that though. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got a lot of the parts cleaned up and polished. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together. And we'll give this thing a spin and see what it does. And here we have it. One day later, the end results are a beautiful shiny red machine. I took the time to polish and clean all the parts and components. It uh, works very smoothly now. Maybe a little too smoothly. The one area I'm still having, I think, where the source of my vibration is coming from is in here. I am going to pull it back apart and put a little... Um, shock absorber right in here uh, on behind the arm I've got this uh, this was cutting board material it's very slippery it's like Teflon uh, somebody suggested I do that uh, so there's te there's a Teflon spacer back in there I put a Teflon spacer there Teflon washer and a Teflon washer right in here uh, it's very sturdy and it seems to slide back and forth. I also had polished this back plate. I don't think that was necessary, uh, especially with the with the Teflon. I'm calling it Teflon with the cutting board material here. 
Uh, everything else has been cleaned and polished. Of course, the day I do this, just as I was in the process of cleaning and, and repacking the bearings and lubing everything, uh, one of the YouTube viewers listed out everything he had just done to his, including replacing the bearings with some high precision bearings, and I think I'll go ahead and do that in, a, in an upcoming video as well. Other than that, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, they don't spin as freely as they used to, but they're much quieter, because probably because of the heavier axle grease I put in. Um, everything else is as is, and I'm really, really tickled with how the, how the project turned out. I uh, appreciate everybody for watching, and have a great day. Thanks.